I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And, and we're, we're jumping, jumping this truck. truck. 2018 Chevy Colorado. ZR2, the only letters and numbers that matter. Which means... We can go off-road and the, potentially jump it. It's the Mini Raptor. It is kind of the Mini Raptor, but not both. It's the only thing we can compare it to because we've driven it here as well. Is there anything else as off-roady as this and the Raptor? As baha -yi. No, the Tacoma TRD Pro is about as close as it gets, but you don't see advertisements with that jumping. You only see the Raptor and the Colorado ZR2 jumping. Awesome. We're back at the ranch where we drove the Ford Raptor, the Ranger, and also the Honda Element. Yes, the Straight Pipes Ranch. What's the plan for today at the Straight Pipes Ranch? Well, we're gonna off-road the crap out of this thing, and then we're gonna see if we can potentially jump it, like I said potentially have some tires leave the ground. Yes, because Ford said all four tires must stay on the ground. GM said, good luck getting all four tires off the ground. So we're gonna try, but we're gonna be safe about it. So we're not gonna try anything too dumb. <laughs> we have a paramedic on set. Yes, we do actually. So this comes in gas and diesel. We are driving the Duramax turbo diesel. Yes, and it's very slow. It is pretty slow off the line. Uh, not gonna lie about that, but it's pretty smooth overall. They didn't hide the diesel sound, which is cool. For a truck guy, you're like, yeah, this sounds like a diesel. Sounds loud. I had so many people come up to me saying, that's a diesel, even at the border when we crossed to the Detroit Auto Show. Every border guard is like, this thing comes in diesel? It's a 2018, yes it does. We got 181 horsepower, which isn't much, but 369 pound-feet of torque. So, that's yeah, a lot. That's a lot. You want torque in a diesel. So far driving this thing, I think I'd rather have the gasoline version. Yeah, it would probably be a little bit better, but for wheeling, which is off-roading, for actual off-road people, this would probably be better. We got a six-speed transmission with the diesel. You get an eight-speed with the gas. This one shifts pretty smooth. It's not the smoothest, but no complaints if you just leave it in auto. I really like driving this thing. It's very pleasant. We drove to Detroit and back for the auto show. In the worst storm ever, actually just after the worst storm ever, all these cars were in, trucks were in ditches. We were completely fine. It did great. You're, you haven't sent it yet. Send it. I'm sending it a bit. It's pretty snowy, but I feel like I've got full control. I've got stability off. Yeah, stability track. If you hold the traction off, you get full traction off. Yeah, or else it really like slips up. That's right. If you press it, it's not enough. And there's also an off-road mode. But it does have four-wheel auto. Yes, it does. Which means it'll kick in whenever. Yep, and we have a low range gearbox because we have four low. But four high is what we need for here anyways, right? Yeah, yeah, for now. Do you think the ZR2 looks better than the Raptor? No, but I think it looks really, really good. Like a very close second. I also agree. I just like the Raptor because it's so wide. Again, that's a full size truck. This is a mid size truck. What's your favorite part of the looks of this truck? The overall stance. It just looks so badass. It actually looks badass. It looks like a toy truck that they actually made into a real truck. I like the rear sport bar. I like those lights that I don't know how to turn on. Yeah, those are actually two different options. Those are very expensive options. The sport bar is $1,300, which I think you absolutely need. The lights, $1,500. So two lights is $200 more than that gigantic black bar. Worth it. It is worth it, but at the same time, like $1,500 for lights, that's kind of crazy. My favorite part about the sport bar is the Colorado logo on the side. They put an effort because you can see the paint color behind it. I do really like that. I just want to point out that I always accidentally say Avalanche <laughs> instead of Colorado because I'm thinking Colorado Avalanche, the hockey team. Oh. And it, it, I haven't fully okay. gotten around that. Just Fair so enough. you guys know, if I ever say Ava, that's why. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff different with the ZR2, obviously. We have a five centimeter lift. Is that why the front bumper looks so cool? That's also different. That's probably my second favorite part. I'd say it is for sure. It's the, the way that you can see the wheels coming from behind you in your rear view mirror. It's the coolest thing ever because they just cut out the bumper. They're like, you know what, Baja, cut the bumper, done. Speaking of the front end, did you notice that light up Chevy bow tie badge? That's very cool. $500 option. Yo, add it to every Chevy ever. <laughs> it's pretty cool, but it's also kind of funny. Speaking of the front end, my other favorite part is the hood. Yeah, it huge looks so scoop. badass. Huge. Yeah, and you can see the Duramax badge, so people are like, damn, nice diesel, bro. Diesel. And now the back end. Looks pretty cool. They got rid of those back bumper side steps so that you can't put your foot there, so you get extra departure angle clearance. On my next favorite part of the rear end, the rear Baja tire. Yes, in the truck bed, also an option. Really cool, 740 bucks, get it. I would rather put stuff around it all the time than not have it. I agree, just suffer and just have that. <laughs> we also get skid plates pretty much everywhere underneath. All the important bits are protected. And on the side, those aren't side steps. You complain about that, 
Those are actually for rock protection. I, I assume they were in side steps when they didn't work for side stepping in. <laughs> yeah, but for rock protection, we also do get locking front and rear differentials with two separate buttons. They're electronic, but they work. And the buttons are all toggle switches, which means off-roading. That's right. We'll talk more about interior later, but I wanted to mention my most favorite interior part of the Colorado. What? The cell phone holder. Yeah. I don't even know if it's what it's supposed to be, but it works perfectly for a cell phone holder. I just wanted to put that out there. You can even rest a Tim Hortons coffee cup on it. Yes, it's but perfect. But don't drive with that on it. You're going to burn yourself. Send it. Okay. You feel those shocks? Yes. Multimatic DSSV. <laughs> I don't know. I, I might almost like this more than the Raptor because of its smallness. Yeah, the smallness is good, especially for like city driving. For off-roading, it would be good on trails. Drift it, drift it. There you go. There you go. Full control. <laughs> nice. You know what? I think I actually think I might like this more than the Raptor. And on that bombshell, I it's Jacob's turn. Yeah. Now we're really gonna send it. God. Off? Yes, good boy. Ready? Off. Dog test pass. You'll notice I'm wearing my only watch today. That's because it's time for the watch giveaway. Leave a comment below saying I subscribed and hit the notification bell. My favorite review of yours is fill in the blank. And we'll pick one winner and we'll send it to you, but you gotta be in North America because you can't afford shipping anywhere else. Yeah, leave a comment. Let's go. And if you're wondering about the mark on my head, I'll explain that in next video with the Volvo XC60. Yeah, stay tuned for that one. So I mentioned the DSSV shocks. They're actually dynamic suspension spool valve shocks and they work incredibly well. They're made by Multimatic. From Toronto. Yes. And, and they made the Ford GT. Exactly. Tested and out in Calabogie. The Camaro ZL1 also has these shocks. So Ooh, give it up for Canada. These ones actually have a little bit more technology in them as well because they have an extra spool valve for off-roading. We're not gonna get into the specifics. They basically have witchcraft and nitrogen in them and you can send it off-road and still be comfortable on-road. I like it. They're a lot firmer than the Raptor, which has Fox shocks. So they're not as floaty. Like this doesn't feel like full on Raptor Baja truck. And they're gold. Yes, they look really cool too. I you can see them through the wheel wells. I love gold. <laughs> gold and blue. Okay, drift the corner. Okay. The drifting visor test. Yes, full send. Oh my God. Passes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, I actually uh, really love this truck. All right, I gotta drift this again. Oh God. The tree is like way too close. No, it's not. <laughs> oh All right, jump it. I'm no, not no, no, you're this. not gonna jump that. Not this. According to my Grand Theft Auto vision, that looks perfect. This is unsafe. I'm not doing that. Okay. I will, however, Ooh. jump that. Since this is an off-roady truck, we're gonna talk about approach and departure angles, 30 degrees approach angle, which is the exact same as the Ford Raptor. Let's try Murder Mountain. All right. Of course, the Raptor did it in the summer and this is the Yeah, winter. so if this does it, this is better? But we let air out of the tires because our ranch owner told us, yo, yes. let some air out of the tires, guys. It, it helps. way better. And he was right. We also have 23 and a half degrees of departure angle which is 0.5 degrees more than the Raptor. Interesting. We're gonna take a run up as much as we can. <sighs> Murder Mountain, four low, off-road mode, traction off, ready to send. Full send. Let's go, baby. Oh, God. oh yeah. Yes! Yes, oh. yes, yes! No. Yes! Yes, ah. yes, 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 ah. yes, no. come on, baby, oh. come on, it's so close, it's so come close, on. Come, on. Come, on. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come yeah. <laughs> on, so close, no, I bet you if you go back a meter and forward, you'll get it, yes, yeah. Yes. yes! Okay, ZR2. ZR2! This is legitness. Oh man, it actually made it up in the winter. Like, no problem. I mean, a little, little bit problem, of problem, but like, but... you know. If you hear that rattling, that's because there's an actual key to start this car. Yes, it does have remote start, but you still have to put the key in. Not push to start? No. <laughs> what is this, 2017? <laughs> but you don't buy this truck for the interior because there's a lot of cheap plastics in here, mm. but the drive and the truck is so good that you don't care. This 
interior is very adequate. Infotainment, do you want to hit that up? Nope. Okay, I'm going to hit it up anyways. It's pretty good. It's exactly like the Cruise, basically, but it has Android Auto Apple CarPlay, which is fantastic. Watch our Chevy Cruise video to find out more about the GM infotainment. It is good, though, just so you know. The seats are very comfortable, yes. very comfortable. We've got ZR2 on the headrest, which looks really cool. Yeah, I love these seats. The rear seats fold up, but you don't have that much room underneath them, but it's okay. And we have the crew cab because we have the full doors in the back. I personally like full crew cab trucks way more than I like two-door trucks now. I think two-door trucks look cooler, but functional-wise, you can't beat a four-door I think they truck. look cooler. Really? Four-door, yeah. All right. Four-door Raptor over two-ish door Raptor. I don't know. This also has the short box because it's the ZR2. You can't get the long box. At least not in Canada. So the headlights are kind of simple, but they match the truck really well. Yes. The only thing that bothers me about them is that they're halogen projectors. I wish they would have given HIDs. Yeah, but you know, with all that jumps and stuff, you might break HIDs. I don't know how it works. It, you won't. It would just look a lot cooler. Okay. And how do I turn on those backlights? I couldn't figure it out. I clicked this light button, but that nope, didn't work. There's that's your little... bed light. Okay. There's a fog light button down there. That's it. That's it's not fog lights. That's your upper lights. Okay. And how like, did it you turn on? You have to no? hold it for how long? Like two or three seconds, and then it finally turns on oh yeah now they're on how did you find that out I had to go on several different Colorado forums to figure that out did you try reading the manual no I never do that we've been speaking about price a lot lately this is about half the price of a Raptor pretty much um, 45,000 Canadian gets you the base model of the ZR2 which is a damn good price and then this has a bunch of options so $58,000 Canadian Canadian obviously which is pretty damn good cool Overall, what do you think about this truck? I love it. Uh, so do I. I think it's an easier Raptor to drive. Yeah. Because it's smaller. You can drive this in the city no problem every day, not have trouble parking it. And honestly, I kind of think it looks cooler. It gets a lot of attention on the road, there's a that, lot. There's that cool hydrogen one. Yeah, the ZH2. ZH, ZH2. Yeah, hey GM, if we can drive that, I, let us know. I like it, I well, like it. I, I really like this truck. It's simple, it's comfortable, yeah. it looks cool, no complaints. Besides no rewinding satellite radio, and um, that's about it. And watch us send it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is a drift subscription break. Subscribe. Okay. <laughs> and hit the bell. Leave. And don't forget to leave that comment. Yeah, win that watch. Not this watch. No. no one's getting this watch. The nicer watch. For months, you guys have been asking how to support us. So we finally caved and we made a Patreon. Yes, check it out. There's some cool rewards. It's pretty much there just so we can continue doing this and not run out of money. Yeah, so that the box test doesn't become us living in a box. The box test doesn't become cribs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check it out. I'm Yuri. I'm Jacob. And we're going for a drive. Don't forget subscribe. to subscribe. Subscribe right now. Subscribe. We didn't even, we didn't do that. <laughs>